I occupy a position that has existed for almost 800 years. The king's counselors and advisors. That is exactly what the Privy Council oath is, to be a true and faithful advisor to Her Majesty. The job of Canada's highest ranking and most powerful bureaucrat is to support the Prime Minister and Cabinet on policy and governance issues. Working with 900 other civil servants in the Privy Council office, the goal is to give advice to make sure the government runs properly. The non-partisan nature of Canada's public service is something Wernick spoke about when he became Clerk of the Privy Council in 2016. Our job is to do the very best we can uh, to deliver the agenda that, of the governments that Canadians elect, and that's the non-partisan support. Every government should be able to count on the public service to step up and work really hard to deliver the agenda that they put to Canadians. Indeed, governments of all stripes have counted on Wernick, a veteran civil servant. He joined the public service in 1981 when he was just 23. Before landing the job, Wernick was Deputy Minister for Indigenous Affairs. I worked very closely with, with three pri active prime ministers, former active ministers, a dozen ministers. I've seen cabinet meetings of uh, the Chrétien cabinet, the Mulroney cabinet, um, the, Harp the Martin cabinet, the Harper cabinet and the Trudeau cabinet. Michael Wernick also said today that he's deeply concerned about Canada's politics and where things are headed, even calling out some controversial comments he found particularly distasteful at a pro-pipeline rally on Parliament Hill this week. I know you've rolled all the way here, and I'm going to ask you one more thing. I want you to roll over every liberal left <laughs> in the country. That's Conservative Senator David Takachuk, and he was addressing a convoy of mostly Alberta truckers who traveled to Ottawa. But comments like this, Warnick says, is why he's lamenting the state of political discourse in this country. It is unusual for a civil servant of his stature to speak so candidly. So here is Michael Warnick's opening statement for the record. I think there are a couple of things that need to be clarified. I worry about my country right now. I'm deeply concerned about my country right now and its politics and, its, and, and where it's headed. I worry about foreign interference in the upcoming election, and we're working hard on that. I worry about the rising tide of incitements to violence when people use terms like treason and traitor in open discourse. Those are the words that lead to assassination. I'm worried that somebody's going to be shot in this country this year during the political campaign. I think it's totally unacceptable that a member of the Parliament of Canada would incite people to drive trucks over people after what happened in Toronto last summer. Totally unacceptable, and I hope that you as parliamentarians are going to condemn that. I worry about the reputations of honourable people who have served their country being besmirched and dragged through the market square. I worry about the trolling from the vomitorium of social media entering the open media arena. Most of all, I worry about people losing faith in the institutions of governance of this country. And that's why these proceedings are so important. 